I sweat like a mother. Ah, ah. Hey guys. Right now, waiting for a friend. We're grabbing lunch together. But I think I'm just gonna go in and get a spot for us. But we're eating gukaku, which is Japanese barbecue. I haven't had this in like, how old am I? Probably like 10 years. So we'll see if it tastes good. I don't remember it being amazing last time. So I think that's why I never came back again, but she was craving it, so. Why not give it another shot? So I think I'm gonna just go in and wait for her there. I see you guys in there. So, <laughs> I walk into Kyukaku. Good thing I left my car early. And I find out it's closed. So, we found this Chinese restaurant nearby. Um, pretty sure they're open, I checked on y'all. Looks good from the photo, so. Okay. Round two. The second place was a to-go restaurant. Like, there were barely any seats to sit and eat. So we're at our third place, Urban Plates. For sure, this is are gonna be our last place. Oh my god, what is going on? Now I'm just hangry, you know? Ah, ah! I just stabbed my foot with the <laughs> chair leg. Ooh, I think it's gonna be a little spicy. It's gonna be good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh my god, you reached all the way here? Mmm. <sighs> what tuna did you use? You just like the kimchi chicken tuna? No, just regular tuna. Trader Joe's tuna? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then I added salmon, the leftover salmon. Really good. Ever since David took me to yoga for Valentine's Day, I felt like so in my element that day that I bit the bullet and got a membership. And I just 
took a hot yoga class this morning and it felt so good but i haven't sweat that much in years so yeah and i just took this towel and this is drenched now this is tmi probably but oh my gosh i felt so good i forgot how much i loved yoga but i told david yesterday that um i got a membership and he was like, no, what have I done? Because that means I won't go to the gym with him every day and some days I'll be going to yoga instead. Yeah, he likes when I go to the gym with him just so he has like a buddy there. But you know, there's just some days where I don't wanna lift weights and I just wanna do yoga. Um, and right now it's 10 and I'm starving. So I'm gonna go in and make myself breakfast. Should I make myself Oatmeal or toast? I'm leaning towards toast. Here you go, your majesty. This is not the plate I wanted. I got the prettier plate, sorry. We have more than one prettier plate. This is not the plate I requested. Mmm, I worked so hard to make you this toast and you just complain, complain. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> this looks amazing. Take your first bite! Ooh, that crunch. Give me a rating, huh? 11 out of 10. Oh! Oh. You want to record it? Woo! Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. Oh my God. I was just jamming out to BTS earlier. Anyway, but David went, he went golfing with his friend this morning. So I had the place to myself and I slept in and I felt good because I woke up at like eight o'clock or something. So I got a good like seven, eight hours of sleep and i was like oh, i feel good and then like for a split second in my mind i was like maybe i should take a class a yoga class so i booked one for 10 30 and then i was like in bed and it was the bed was just feeling way too good so i was just like sitting in there and i, and I was thinking to myself like man maybe i should just stay in and not go to class so i decided in my head i'm not gonna go then you know just like i'm just scrolling on my phone for like an hour or whatever as i usually do and then i realized that it was like 9 35 or something like that again in my head i was like yeah okay yeah i'm not gonna go to class because this feels way too good like i don't even feel like moving and then i go to the app to unbook the class and i never knew this about this yoga studio that i go to but i guess it's like new rules and regulations that they put into place you have to cancel your class an hour prior to your class time so if i had just done that five minutes before then i didn't have to go to class but it wouldn't let me unbook it and i was like what and then i read the new rules and it says like you have to pay 15 dollars if you miss a class and i'm like oh my god it's so like I was just like not in the best mood. I was like, I really don't want to go to this class right now, but I'm like being forced to. And after like being put in a mindset like, okay, I'm not going to go to class. I'm just going to relax until David gets back. But nope, I had to force myself to get up and get ready. And I was just like in a bad mood. And then I got in the car and I started driving and I was almost at the studio until I realized, oh my God, I didn't pack my towel, nor did I pack my yoga mat. So, or so I thought. So I was like panicking on the way there and I'm like, I literally got up, got in the car to go to this yoga class so that I don't have to spend more money, AKA the late fee or cancellation fee. But then when I get there, I'm gonna have to rent a mat and a towel. You know what I mean? I'm just being a Debbie Downer, but. So I get there thinking in my head like, please, please. Like, I don't think I took out my mat from last time. Please be in the trunk. And then I check the trunk and my mat is in there. So I'm like, okay, one thing is going right for me today. But I'm like, but I still need a towel because I sweat like a mother when I'm doing these hot yoga classes, right? So I get in there and then I ask, can I rent a towel? They have no more towels left in the studio. So I'm like, oh my God, 
I'm gonna slip and slide all, all class. I'm just being a Debbie Downer because I didn't want to be there in the first place, so I was like, Ugh. But you know what? Long story short, I feel fine after the class. Like, I had a good class. It wasn't the best, but I still feel good right now. And I'm talking too much, so my acai bowl is gonna melt, but just picked up an acai bowl, gotta eat this. And then probably watch a show while I'm eating it. Oh, I just started the show 39 on Netflix. I think it's called 39. I started this show because, uh, well, first of all, I was interested in, in it, but then also a lot of people were DMing me saying that I look like one of the characters. It's pretty good so far. I'm on episode two. And K-dramas, they make it so blatantly obvious with their advertising. This guy's the worst. He's the worst. He's a cheating, lying asshole. Guys, I made some jormen because I was craving something salty when I got back home. This is all we had. I'm in 